Matt, Matt's talking as if like girls fucking him yeah. is him doing them a favor. <laughs> <laughs> that's what he just that's what he's saying. <laughs> no, no, no. That's more like like the undrafted pick. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome back to another episode of the Sergio Talks Podcast. It's your boy Sergio Talks. It's your boy Matt. <laughs> it's your boy Carl. <laughs> and um, before we start this episode, guys, for the love of Christ, like, comment, subscribe. Give us five stars on Amazon, Apple Podcasts, and don't forget to check us out on Patreon, Patreon. where you guys get to get exclusive content. Guys, an extra episode every Friday. We're putting in the work so you don't have to. Subscribe. <laughs> yeah. You are such a PTSD with this shit. Yeah, I just wanted to set it up. Mm. Um, on today's episode, I wanted to talk about how how long you guys last. We'd easily go for like forty five minutes an hour. Ooh. If I make it last thirty, uh, forty. If I make it last, right? You can make it last. If I try not to make it last, if I just do like the fuck, I'm lasting like six minutes. What That's the good. fuck? I'm lasting. 32 seconds. I could. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> if I really wanted yeah. to. Absolutely. I can't. How do you know when a girl is into you? Mm. Oh. That's good. My. <laughs> what are you about to what say? What are you about to say? Jinx, you want me to say Actually, wait. We're not starting anything until. Can we put the camera on Carl? Yes. Carl, why are you sitting <laughs> like that, bro? Can we see? <laughs> <laughs> I got my legs up. <laughs> I'm really comfortable. Okay, do you? Let's, so let's say you go on a date. You've yeah. been on a date like for month, like on consecutive dates with a girl. Mm -hmm. What are the signs that you pick up on that you think that the girl is letting you know that she likes you? Uh, for me, it's fast replies on texts, like initiate mm. a, like a new conversation. Like let's say we have a date, and then the morning after, she's like, "Good morning. Like hope you have a good day or whatever." Initiate like whatever conversation. Uh, initiate the s second date even so or like third, fourth, fourth date whatever she's like we can go there mm -hmm. which is nice um, I would say that I would say you know guy, like I'm very like an energy guy so I pick up on energy like very fast if like your body language is just like mm. oh yeah but oh, some what girls, I do in life but, I, just, but some girls are weird like that though yeah like some girls like you'll Keyword think weird yes sometimes you'll think like okay this girl ha literally hates my guts yes yes um, but then text you first the next day and you're like wait a minute I, I think I, like, what am i not understanding I, you? I, <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, me it's like it's weird because i get like i'm like uh, and then I, I don't know how to react. I'm like, I, yeah. so do you? But, you know, I'm bold. I'm the type to he just say, like, even up. at the second or the third day, I'm like, yo, do you like me? Or, like... <laughs> Matt's like, I feel, Matt's like, do you like me? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You know the little like, flower thing? <laughs> she likes me. She likes me. Like me. She likes me. <laughs> <laughs> so what's yours? Um, I think for me, it's like whenever, like, uh, this, let's say she's blushing, like in the car. What? That proves the point that you like snow bunnies. <laughs> I thought Carl was gonna say something like, "Yeah, I know she likes me when she uh, when she drops her pants and sucks my dick." Listen, no sex, <laughs> but it proves my point no. that you like you love snow bunnies, bro. Not necessarily. You, you can blushing. see blushing. You can see you can see when someone's blushing without seeing they're blushing. Yeah, like I can blush. No, you just can't see it much. <laughs> like you can feel when someone's fucking blushing, right? How? You could feel. Yes. When someone's just like... Um, Blushing is a uh, physical, like, like you can see it with your eyes. Exactly. Uh, you just said feel it. No, not feel it. You can see it. Like, like her demeanor changes. Like she starts acting... Yeah, a little shy. Okay. Then she's shy. She's not blushing. Yeah, yeah she's blushing. No. She's shy. Blushing is the act of like getting of rosy. Act like rosy, exactly. That's yeah. what I said. How do you see <laughs> on a black girl? I'm sorry? How do you see it on a black girl? You, should, you get darker. <laughs> <laughs> but I do get darker though still when you blush yeah what are you talking about uh, no that's cause you're light uh, you already know you blush oh so what uh, okay so how is it pink is it so me I'm half half so does it get pink or darker you become dark skinned <laughs> 
Can you imagine if a light skin superpower was to do that? To like if you wanted to, you could either be fully white or fully dark skinned. Mm, that would oh, be nice. You could, like, That'd switch. be OP. Like a cop says freeze and you're like, no, ha. <laughs> <laughs> I'm white. That, that just sounds so bad when I think about it. And we laugh it so hard. And then like, let's say, for example, like you're losing in a, in a, in a race. <laughs> Turn dark skin. <laughs> this again sounds so bad. Like you want to jump higher, run faster. This Sergio it starts to get very. I don't know. It just feels wrong, bro. Like if you want to graduate school. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! What about god. if you sell drugs? I, depends where. If you're yeah. if you're an ocean <laughs> god, <laughs> then you could be you could stay white. <laughs> oh shit. Oh I have God. black friends. I'm allowed to. It's fine. I've dated black women. Mm. That could be a superpower still. Uh. It could be. But you you kind of do do it sometimes. Oh, but, you, yeah. but you don't change your skin color. You change your voice. Yeah, I do. It's if deeper, I talk on no? the phone and I say my name yeah. is Mathieu. Oui, bonjour. Dans le fond, j'appelle pour... Um, and I have a super, like, white um, uh. accent. Mm. Bro, I'll be on the phone ha- having a white accent. And then you guys come in as soon as I am. I'm like, yo, what are you going to say, I won. I won, Carl does this thing where he he um, he thinks he's talking in his mind, but in reality, <laughs> he's talking out loud. So he'll be on his phone and like reading his text messages, thinking that he's talking to himself in his mind, but literally he's reading them out loud and he's like, why is this bitch fucking texting me? <laughs> <laughs> and then we're like, what did you say? And he's like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> Oops. I'm actually trying. Oh, damn. <laughs> So uh, I don't fuck. know if a girl likes you or not. Yeah, that well. Fast replies key. Mm-hmm. Also, if she uh, talks to her friends about you. Facts. Mm. What about you? But you only know that like until later. Um, Facts. Me, it's more so like there's certain things. It depends on who it is and what their personality trait is. But like if they're hinting to like want to spend more time with you, yeah, okay. like the date not to be over. Like, let's say you guys like went out for dinner, but like didn't have dessert. She suggests like saying like you want to go. You know, grab dessert or something. I, I, I had a girl saying, said, I don't care where we're going. I just want to be with you. Fire. Oh, like, wow. Nice. Damn. Fire. Why isn't she wifed? I feel like she used to be. <laughs> <laughs> no. So what's the answer? <laughs> the answer. How do you know, like, when the right time is to, like, kiss the girl? Ooh. Love this question. Um, I, I, do you wait? Do you do the move first? Um, me, I wait for her to like uh, give me her body language that she wants to kiss me. Like yeah. let's say she's smiling, looking at my lips, looking at my face, lips, face, everything. Pretty okay. much. Okay. Yeah. She's just like she's like, and then she kind of leans in a way. I'm like ah okay. No. Uh, I'm gonna be honest. For me, it was pretty easy because most of the time they're very vocal about it. My bad. Mm. They're like they're like just like no no no, but it's just like. I want to kiss you. I want to kiss you or like kiss me right now. Like oh, it's like because wow. I like I tease a lot, yeah. so I I like teasing to the point that she's like, "Fucking shut up and kiss me," mm. and then I'm like, "Fire." No, what? No. And I'm like, "No, stop it." Yeah, yeah. stop no. it. Like, Not now. Mean? Like, what do you mean and kissing? Then, and then when I, I say no, that. it's always like it's like, <gasps> and then the. Tyrone type of shit and grabs my neck. What are you? Who are you dating, bro? Fucking grown ass man. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? And then she's like, "Come here," and I'm like, "No." Oh. I feel like he does moan like that. I mean, mm. she likes it. And then after some time, I'm like, and then and then it works. Usually, I'll go like that. If not, if I have the signs. Science, body language, I like it. Um, but also, like I said earlier, I'm pretty bold. So it's like wh- whenever I feel like it. Like, obviously, I need to have this type of, like, body language. Or yeah, yeah. But as soon as, like, like her, let's say let's say we're in a car. I'm going to kiss her in a car. Let's put it this way. Mm-hmm. And she's sitting like this. And then me, I'm sitting like this. If she's open towards me, like, like to talk, or, like, she even does, like, like this, you know? Then I'll be more tempted to try and kiss her whatsoever. But okay. if not, like, uh, yeah, if she's the other way, like this. And she's like, she's waiting for you to, to drop her home. Well, that's the thing. If she like stays in the car mm-hmm. and like we're not really saying much anymore, that's in my mind. It's because like she's waiting for something else. 
Oh, like we, you you got to our place. We got to our just... place. Like we didn't. We haven't said goodbye yet. Like we're still talking, but like we're not talking much about anything Else. relevant anymore. Yeah, mm. it's because like, like she's thing. waiting in the car for something. I would assume that she's waiting in the car for something else. Mm. And what about what about like signs to like? Well, she wants more than just kiss. If on a first date. Yeah, first date. On a first date, I wouldn't. No, but what if, like, that's what she wants? She's the type, because I spoke to girls that are like, I need, to, why wasting my time? I'd make her I need w- to know first date if it's that's what I want. I'd, no. I'd make her wait. Fair enough. You wouldn't. I wouldn't, too. You wouldn't make them, you wouldn't, make, no, you wouldn't. <laughs> Shut the, I, I'm going I'm to, depends who. Fuck if you're on a don't date think so. you're not Depends. Don't think so. You do no. know that depends. So no. Depends. No. Yes. No. Actually, it depends how the date was. If let's say me, like the, the date was like huh, average for me. It's like, can't wait the date is done. And then for her, it was nice. Well, of course, I'm going to be like, no. And then I'm like, ah, I'm tired. I need to go home. But yes, in any other cases, I would definitely smash first date. No problem. I, 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 I look that. so easy. You are. You are. <laughs> I'm not. You are. If you actually think about it, I'm not. In a relationship, you're not. Yeah, okay, obviously. Single. You're easy. Single. Matt has this thing where when he's in a relationship, he's like, sex to him is like, ah, eh, you know? Yeah. But it's like, whatever. But as soon as he's single, it's like, what? You touched my pee pee. <laughs> you want it? You want it? Okay. No problem. I was slang <laughs> it six times in the same night. He go. He he talks as if he's like this guy that he's like a one pump chump. But in reality, though, if it's like some <laughs> random girl that he went on a date with, it could be. It could be. It, it'll start at six in the uh, six in the evening and end at six in the morning. <laughs> yeah, you guys, it's fine. You guys are both easy. There's no no he's no easier. no shame we're, there. We're not that easy. Okay, first of all, for Sergio, we're not that easy. No, we're picky as fuck, and when we get to the pick. It's a first draft pick, so obviously we're easy as shit after. It's a first draft pick, bro. You waited all year long to have the prospect for your perfect. Um, <laughs> I don't know where you're going with this, bro, but I'm telling you right now, it is not working in your favor. <laughs> <laughs> you, I'm just saying. Yeah. L- listen. At this point, don't even talk to me anymore. Just talk straight to them. Listen. You waited. It's the same thing for them. They have a roster, fam. And then, first pick. Why are you looking? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, first pick draft. Well, obviously, I'm going to be easy, bro. Listen, man. It's the first pick. What, what, what would you do? If what? You have a first pick? Mm-hmm. First round, first pick? Mm-hmm. All around max contract, rookie contract? Mm-hmm. Listen, buddy. But if it's a, a second round, 60 pick, listen, buddy, you might go undrafted. So I'm going to be less, you know. What the fuck are you talking about? <laughs> he's basically Bro. saying that Matt, Matt, he's like the GM. What? I'm the GM. General manager of a team. Yeah, but you're making it seem like you're the team that everybody wants to play on. <laughs> Yeah, I'm the like you're the grand prize. Like you're the best NFL team that people could play on. <laughs> <laughs> well, well, listen, listen, listen. As a prospect, you like being a prospect. You're about to have max contract on your rookie year. <laughs> <laughs> Matt, Matt's talking as if like girls fucking him yeah. is him doing them a favor. <laughs> <laughs> that's what he just. That's what he's saying. <laughs> no, no, no. That's more like like the undrafted pick. <laughs> <laughs> that's crazy. Oh, that's crazy. <laughs> you know, it's fine to say you're easy, bro. I'm not easy. That's what I'm saying. You are easy, bro. bro I had to pick the the lottery pick. I had to 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 have some some trades over the years until I have the right first pick draft. I don't, then, I, don't, I don't know when we started lying on this podcast. I. <laughs> See? Shut up. You're in the same boat as me. I'm not. You are. Look, I think the way you You're are. You're a whore. I'm not. Oh. I'm really not. Okay, okay but we're picky whores. It's not that deep. 
<laughs> those, those two fuck? don't go together, bro. Those, yes. Yo, no, yes. yes. You Yo. can't be hot and cold at the same we, time, bro. We, we, actually, uh, you no, can't. you can't be smart and retarded at the same time. You kind of could. What the fuck? Mm. Think about it. <laughs> She's smart as fuck, but sometimes retarded as shit. Yeah, I, I guess so. Okay. Yeah. I can, even I can, yeah. Yeah. So so listen, listen. We are picky whores. Who is we? Shut the fuck up. Listen. <laughs> picky means we'll be like, no, 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 and then yes, and we'll be a complete whore for that one person. <laughs> no, that's not how it goes. It's, <laughs> picky whores is yes, 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 no, maybe, yes, yes. That's not picky, that's just being a whore. And I'm a picky whore. <laughs> exactly. I'm a picky whore, not just a whore. It's no, no, no. You, it's like, yes and all in. And I'm going to be a complete whore. Uh, you know, you don't want to be like, uh, not no. showing up, you know? You need to like... No, because the fact that you're saying yes is you being picky. If you were just a whore, it would be like, mm, okay, sure, why not? Yeah, you could get it too. Yes. And yeah. your example was like, yes, 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 yes. yes. That's being a picky whore. Yes. Ends up fucking, <laughs> what? That's a being a picky whore because you're, you're picking, yes, you're, you're, you're being selective, you're being picky, but you're also a whore. I don't understand. There's a hundred women in the, in the room. Yes. Yes. And I'm going to fuck three of them. But I'm going to be a complete whore for those three. No. That's being a picky that makes, whore. That, no. that doesn't make you a whore. So that I'm making you what? You're, that doesn't make you that a whore. That just makes you... Like, that, that's just you fucking three women out of a hundred. You're 100. just picky. You're just fucking three women. Yeah, that's, that's making... That, that, that's, that's, that's being, being picky. But that's how I am. No. no. Yes, you, I'm not no. fucking anybody anymore. You, if there's what? A, if there's a hundred, hundred women... In a, in a there's a, if there's you, it's, if there's a hundred women, you're fucking 97. Mm -hmm. The three others just didn't want to wait their turn and left. Yeah. That's me. Yes. Oh, there's a hundred women, Sergio, I'm, I'm fucking 97 of them. Yes. No way in the hell. The number just seems right. No, it doesn't. I think the math is matting. No, the, ma the uh, math. How many matting. he's fucking? What? How many he's fucking? None. But they're how all coming. <laughs> how many he's eating? 101. The all of them, and then the first one a second time. Takama is the, the, the second round. Yeah. yeah. So I'm just eating them. <clears throat> You're fucking. So, so you're a whore with your mouth. I'm a whore with my dick? No. Yes. Mm. Also, yes. What are you, Sergio? A whore with my money. That's actually accurate as hell. Because uh. he's actually crazier than us when it comes to sex. Yeah. He's a... Oh, yes. Yeah. Sergio, please, please, please. Please, please. Sergio, please, listen. Please don't say his name like that. Jefe, my friend, <laughs> listen. <laughs> You're a nephew man. You You're are. Info. You are. You're addic addicted to sex. I'm not saying you're a whore. You're addicted to sex, though. For one person. You, yes. But you would fuck a thousand times in the same day. Your dick would hurt and you would still fuck. Yes. <laughs> I'm like you said, more like uh, sometimes I'm like ah uh, well, for weeks. Well, precisely. So for me, if there's a hundred women in a room, I'm fucking one of them a hundred times, five hundred times. If yeah, she, she's able to. If, that's, if she wants. Okay. By the time you're done, you're already starting your second round. But yeah. Anyways. <laughs> he's like, he's like, he's like, yeah. 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 All right. It's like, sad himself. Well, yeah. Fuck. It's fine to be easy. It's not that. Okay. Easy. So, so the the essentially the question was was the the signs. Yeah. Of the girls you interested in you. Fucking her. Right. And then you said you weren't doing it. I'm not doing it. No. You're not fucking on the first date. No. My. I, I want to make her wait for it. Mm. I want to make her wait for it so that when it actually does happen, it's like that much better. Fair enough. Because like everything is everything is ten times better if you worked for it or if you had to wait for it. You know, like when you wait for your Amazon order, mm -hmm. the longer it takes to arrive, the more you're eager and excited to get it. Mm. You get it the next day, it's like oh, sick. It's still exciting. Yeah, yeah. We got it next day, but if it's a wait for something, or wait for the latest game, or wait for the newest car, or just wait for whatever, mm -hmm. you know. 
I, I agree. The only reason I don't go, I, I'm going to go half-half. I'm not going to make her wait long, and I'm not necessarily going to fuck on a first date. But the reason I'm not is what What if I make her wait like that, and like she's so eager to have it, and then I don't deliver as I'm supposed to deliver? Like, her deception is going to be bigger than if the first date. You get know what I mean? So, mm. I mean, well, that's happens. not what I want. There's 97 other girls. No, I'm just kidding. That's crazy. That's crazy. I'm not a whore. <laughs> Fuck, man. Anyways, um, my signs would be the way she's kissing me. If it's just like a, you know, small like... But if she's eating my face out, touching me, like putting her hands everywhere, and then I, I my hand's going to go on her body, and then I can see that like if I, I do a little lift... And then she doesn't do anything. Like, she goes along with it. I'm like, okay, she might be down. But if I do this and then she does this, I'm like, okay. Then we'll just go and kiss it. Fair That's enough. how I see it. Respectful. Or whenever she pulls, puts her hands in my pants. Or and then, How fast do you take your pants off, girl, when she does that? <laughs> if she puts her hands in my... In my <laughs> <laughs> they both in the car says, hi, Carl. <laughs> <laughs> you know, uh, looky look. Look, look, looky, look, oh, looky, look. Yeah, yeah. Faster than a shadow. Yeah, that's fast as fuck. Do you do you, do you guys like let her do like the like the unbutting and then taking it off, or like if she starts, you're like, oh, I'll have the green light, so then I take it off. It depends where. Agreed. Makes sense. Hey, like, okay, if, I'm I'm my, if I'm in my car, the, I'm just gonna take the most part. I let her do it. What about in bed? In a bed? Yeah. I'll I'll let her take it off. Actually, I think mm. I'm I'm gonna take it off myself regardless. You know what I like to do? I like standing up and then she'll take it off because if she takes it off, she has to be on her knees to take it off. So as soon as she does this, it's like right there and then it's like it just starts and it's not, you know. Mm. <laughs> so we, we, so, okay, a girl likes you, the signs for kiss you, a signs to fuck, the signs that she doesn't like you. Mm, body language again. If she does it, if she, if she. So, fellas, we've all gotten ready for dates before. Yep. And you never know exactly when you're gonna get lucky, right? Facts. So, Facts. what better way to make sure that you might get lucky by making sure you have yourself a set of clean balls? I like it, Picasso. <laughs> I feel. I feel you should. I think you should use it right now. How do you know? Oh, what this? Wow. Pause. This hmm. is crazy. And after you shave your balls, okay. what better way to make sure you have them secured and comfy in a nice package of the Boxer 2.0 from Manscaped? Oh. Ooh. Yo, it says ultra soft. See this? I love it. Don't hold back. Don't waste any time. Get yourself the lawnmower 4.0 with the Boxers 2.0 from Manscaped. Use promo code TOX20 to get yourself 20% off and free international shipping. Yo, I like this. It's super small. It is. So it's like so easy to use. Yeah, you like small stuffs. If she has no interest in knowing about me or my life or... So how does she answer in a date? So let's say she's there's a guy that's watching the podcast she, right now. She, like, if she's on her phone. Yeah. <gasps> Half swiping on Snapchat while she's. Oh, this is black. While she's like on a $400, $500 date. Damn, my shirt is gray. It's crazy. <laughs> just, you know, there's like a, a Wagyu in front of her, but she just half swipes on Snapchat. Or like, what the fuck are you laughing at? <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. That is wild. Damn. <laughs> oh, my God. Wow. Mm -hmm. This? I, um, that had to be by far the worst date of all time. Damn. It had to be the most expensive and the worst also. Yes. It's yeah. like a double L. It was a double L because it lasted, it was on two days. Yeah. Oh my god, triple. I was like, oh, you know what? Maybe the next day is going to be better. Mm, the trip. It wasn't. The trip. She just trip. ate for free. That's, 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 that's. Gas. Distance. Plus distance. Plus. Spending time. With I mean, you, you learned from it, right? Plus massage. Plus oh, flowers. shit. Oh. Flowers. Damn. But I'm pretty sure if you wanted to cover, she would. Listen, that ship has sailed. No, I know. I know. All I'm saying is, like, even if the date went well overall, she would. 
if you were like, you're my girl, she was like, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like she's going to watch this podcast. I'm like, no. That's a bold, that's a bold nah, statement. No, probably not. Anyways. Mm. Uh, okay, so. Body language when she's like, uh, let's say like that. It's like we were talking about. She's like that. Oh, yeah. She's like in her corner in the car. What the fuck are you dating, bro? If she said, if she I mean, You guys are dating the weirdest people. One grabs the back of his neck like Tyrone. The other one is what? Pouting in the, in the corners like she's grounded. <laughs> Dude, I don't. I don't get who you guys deal with. If any one of the girls would have done anything that they did to y- to y'all, they would have been over. Oh. Well, they are over, but just we're just we're sweet guys, Sergio. So we're not putting it over. I'm, I'm sweeter than the both of you. That's imp- you can't be sweeter than him. Maybe no, me. maybe not. No, okay, not Carl. Maybe me, but I don't know. I haven't seen you in a date. Like I can't. I don't know. I'm based on whatever you say, but I know you're bold as fuck. So I know that like if I'm I don't bold like as it, fuck if I don't like her. That's my point. But if I'm going on a date with you, it's because I like you somewhat. If I don't like you, like you. <laughs> so let's see. Let's if see. If it's the, just to, if it's just a fuck, you're not. We're not going on a date. I'm hitting you with the. What are you doing tonight? You that up. 45, You up? Yeah. You up? Have you guys ever sent a you up? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. How do you... Wait, wait, wait. How do you feel if, like, it's her that Sending says... Sending me a you up? You up. Like, you're the... Booty call? Yeah. You're the dick call. Yeah, like dick appointment, we say. Mm-hmm. How do you feel about that? I like it. I feel like I'm being summoned. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's like... I'm coming. Dude, what's it? Is it the Udini? What's the... the Udini? Um, uh, the... The, oh. the genie. Genie lamp. lamp. Genie lamp. Yeah, I'm, I'm Dick summoned. Appointment. But I don't know, because sometimes I'm like, uh, uh, let's say a girl is like, oh, no, I, I don't want a relationship with you. I'll fuck you, but I don't want a relationship with you. How do you guys feel about that? Fine, no problem. Or like there's your ego that's like, huh? My ego, would, would, my ego would be like, what, why? <laughs> what do you mean, why? Like, what? why you, you, you know, you know, okay. You know, I'm going to say something. Okay, I'm going to say sit. I'm going to say this. Wait, I wait ha- think this through. Yeah, please. Oh, no problem. God. I had I had this girl that wanted to be fuck friend with me. No problem. But I told her, I said, listen, fuck friend is not going to work with me. She's like, why? I'm like, because you're going to catch feelings. And she's like, no, I don't like you like that. I said, fine. I'll bet you $5 and a dinner if you catch feelings with me. Wait, sorry. $5 and a dinner? Yeah. $5 and a dinner? I want a $5 cash and dinner. She said, "Fine, what bet. bet. I'll okay, have wait. this beautiful dinner." Yeah, it, it made no sense. Don't, don't, oh, whatever. I had my five bucks and my dinner. He's like, "I still have my five bucks." <laughs> yeah. What the fuck she, did you do with the five bucks? Buy ice cream? Um, no, I went to Kustar and I got some um, candies. Yeah. So yeah. So uh, sweet victory. Yeah, sweet victory. Yeah. So yeah, I, I had to bet with her. So I've she, never. When I've did ne- she got feelings for you? I've never had. It always is that way. I've never had a girl that friends with oh. benefits is always temporary. One, one or the other, cat, either one of the other catches feelings, or one of the other gets into an, into a relationship with someone else. Mm. Mm. Did I ever happen to you guys that you guys went for a booty call, and then felt completely like a whore the way she, like sex was good, whatever, but you you guys haven't spoken ever again after. I have two in my head. But I've never been I've never been a you up. I've never been like a booty call where I went. It was that makes sense. Her, it was, yeah, if she would text me like you up, you think I'm gonna <laughs> You think I'm gonna go? I don't know. Is she bad? Buddy. Bad? Even if she is, bro, <laughs> she's coming and leaving. The Uber's waiting outside. Do, do you do you and your girl do those like um, hypothetical questions like, like like this? Let's say if I would ask you the same question, so your girl's not your girl, but your girl texts you. Hmm. Well, she texts you, you up, come over. Hmm. So now would you go? If she's my girl. No. Or she's like my girl, but like we're not dating. She's just a booty call. She's, 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 booty call. she's booty calling me. Hmm. So it's her. Like just think of her as her, not your girl. Just her as her. Right. So this person texts you yeah. on Instagram. Yeah. So just talks. Yo, you up? Yeah, come over. It's hard because you guys are dating. Yeah, not, like I know. Dating. That's why. I'm, that's why I'm saying like hypothetical. If question, I'm like, being realistic, 
Realistic. Hypothetical. 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 Yeah. If I'm being if I'm being realistic, yeah, I wouldn't go. You wouldn't. No. I can't wait to hear her answer <laughs> on my life. <laughs> she would be like, "Huh? I, I, she, bro, you know, bro. Can we do her reaction? What? What do you mean? What do you mean? What do you mean? You wouldn't? Yes, you would. What? You would a thousand percent. At uh, Sergio, a thousand percent, you would come. Why to my would home. you not? Okay. Come and fuck me. Yeah. <laughs> There's no one else. If I want to tease you, Sergio, you're coming to my house. I would send you one, one nude, a half nude. And I guarantee you, Sergio, you will be at my house. And then Sergio's going to look like this. So he's like, <laughs> listen, man, I wouldn't. That's just not, man, I'm single, I'm not. Yeah, but listen, I'm not these other girls. We're talking about me right now. See, and then for her to say that, she would, he would like, Ugh. and you and know what he's he... gonna do? Like, let's say we're like in the presence or in the apartment, he would just like walk around in circles with his phone in his hand. Yeah, and then and Thank then look you. at me and be like, "Yo, man," and I'm like, "Yo, what's good?" And he's not gonna say anything. He's just gonna look at me and be like, "Fuck it." And then grab some shit. I'm like, yo, I'll be back. And then just and leave. Go, yeah. That's exactly what's going to happen. Uh, this girl has me so like psychologically figured out. She has me so psychologically fucked that she would know exactly what to say and what to do to get my ass over mm. in that same instance. So, but technically speaking, so you guys are not that like that technically. Dating. But just given yeah. her personality, even if we weren't dating, she'd still use that to her advantage. I, I know. That's why I'm saying that. She's an absolute psychopath. I know. Like, she would definitely have you like this. Yeah. When it comes to those type of things, she would... Please show her this little segment of you saying, no, I wouldn't. No. <laughs> <laughs> Please see it. Please. No. Anyways. You know, at first when me and my girl, we were dating, there was no, like, <clears throat> there was no, like, sexual tension. Okay. Like we were really just vibing out, like on a like emotional mental level, um, and then like now fast forward, it's like I don't even know how we couldn't have seen that there was no potential at one point. Mm. You know, mm. maybe we have a toxic relationship. Does it make more toxic when the sex is like ten out of ten, but then? It's harder on like the communication on any yes. any other thing. That's exactly that's what toxic, toxic is. Yeah, like the only thing like Fuck. keeping a, a relationship is ooh. if your communication level is like a four, but sex is like a ten. That's toxic. Mm. There's nothing to resolve that. Yes, there is. Well, to to talk and put four to ten. <laughs> How do you resolve good communication? You have to, to talk. To talk. <laughs> <laughs> no, but fuck, it's it's always one or the other. It's like either communication is 10 out of 10, but sex is, you know, mid, it's high, whatever. Or sex is 15 out of 10 and communication is 3 out of 10. Again, it depends that, yeah, who you're, it who depends you're dating. Really, yeah. You can find a healthy that, medium. Obviously, a healthy medium, yeah, but it's rare. Yeah, that's why you wait. And, and don't you stop being a whore. Hmm. I'm not, I don't know what you're talking about, man. Whore. You shut up. Make me. I want all the girls who've been with Matt to write in the comments. No, I'm joking. <laughs> Can you imagine? Well, as, as like relationship. Relationship, there'll be just three, four. Five. No, four. Six. Four. 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 Are we bothering you? I'm sorry. It's because I'm, I'm I'm leaving. I'm going on a trip. He has a... Oh. What? Oh, okay. I don't know. Are you going on a trip today? No. What are you... Are you going on a trip today? No, but he's booking to go on a trip next week. I understand. So you're not leaving today? No. Right. So that could wait. Well, are you guys, are, where, where are you guys going? Are you guys traveling this summer? Mm, Tulum, Miami. Jamaica. Really? Mm-hmm. With Fred. Know? Ah, which Fred? Fred basketball. Right. That's dope. Yeah, you? Miami. Nice. Jamaica. Tulum. Jamaica. Yep. When I say Jamaica, I mean as in us. I, I, you think I'm going there alone? Yes. No. You would with a girl. How was I supposed to? Uh, I, supposed I don't to have to know. ask you. I just usually I'm just uh, I'll just give you when I have the date. I'm like date is there there. Got you. I went to Mexico in November for a wedding. Hey. Yo yo, what's? 
What's you with the weddings, fam? You had nine weddings in the past two weeks, fam. When you are dating a, a person whose family members extend as far as the eyes can see, you have a lot of weddings, Matt. This is crazy. Greeks, Italians, Hispanics. They all have 26 uncles and aunts. They all have 37 nieces and nephews. Somebody's bound to get married. But this is not a family member. It's actually a friend. <laughs> this is crazy. <laughs> but yeah, it's, it's, but it's actually my first ever. Well, I, did my, I had my first ever. I attended my first wedding ever uh, this past weekend. And now I'm doing my first ever like wedding destination mm. in Mexico. Mm. So That's November. Dope. But what about November. This, this summer? I'm Rain. going to Orlando in, at the end of June. Okay. And so far, that's pretty much it. And we're m looking to maybe, I have, we have no dates, nothing really concrete planned, but maybe doing like Costa Rica or like Europe. And Tulum and Jamaica. And Tulum and Jamaica. And, and Tulum and Jamaica. But speaking of weddings, you guys remember we did the whole, I, I told you guys a story about my boy who got yeah. married, the engagement ring, whatever, whatever, whatever. Oh, so, yeah. uh, so Don Jay actually reached out. Damn. And uh, so, surprise for y'all, because it was a surprise to us too, but the little the little bling blingies that I have, and also Carl got a, a, a custom piece for himself too. So Don J, it, right? yeah, Don J, we're really Wait. happy. Go for it. Just don't knock the cameras. Shine, shine bright like Recule, a diamond. Look it up, bro. Uh, yeah. Yeah, good. Oh my legs. Um, so actually, Don Jay reached out to us in the podcast. Uh, Matt's piece of jewelry is in the mail and on its way. Um, but yeah, they were super happy with the shout out and they wanted to um, bless us with these pieces. Honestly, very blingy. It's very nice. It's very shiny. It's very me. Mm. It's like they knew exactly what um, what I wanted to get. Um, and when we went, while well, three of us we went, we went. They showed us the vault with all the jewelry. Oh they showed us all different types of gold. They had watches, but their their variety of engagement rings. I was like, Jesus Christ! Mm. There was a lot. There was way. There was a lot. There were nice I didn't. Too. I didn't know there was that many different types of variations of rings, mm -hmm. mm. and also the different cuts, like the the, yeah. different, um, the princess oval <laughs> radiant. I thought I'd just have like a like oval one, but yeah. then, God damn! I saw now I know those, why I like, like women are like so picky in particular about what kind of engagement ring they want. But there's he, so many different. He was perfect for that because he explained yeah. it to us like all the differences. So then, if you want your girl to have like a nice <laughs> ring yeah. that's gonna be a perfect fit for her, this guy was explaining to us like in the most information that you can have, and we had a whole course right yeah. there. I think yeah. it was very sharp. I felt dumb. <laughs> I felt I, dumb, but I, I really felt didn't. like I wanted to marry. But someone. when I, yeah. right away, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. I left there being like, yeah, you know what? Who wants who wants to get an engagement yeah. ring next? <laughs> Just like that. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, yeah, so guys, if you guys want to go check him out, it's uh, Don J. Um, they have their website available if you guys want to go see your options. So fellas, if you haven't gotten your girl a ring yet, stop sleeping. Go see Don J. Uh, if you haven't gotten a girl yet, then I suggest investing in some pieces of jewelry mm. so that it'll help you get with the gyaldem. You know what I'm saying? Like and, I and, 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 and ladies, if you don't, if you want to get some suggestions for your man because you feel like he's going to fuck up when he buys your engagement ring, then uh, send, go on the website and send him some references of what kind of ring you would want. Yeah. That'll help a lot. And then our, the guy over there is going to do everything... A to Z. A to Z. You're going to have a nice engagement ring. Don't worry about it. I almost bought one. Even if I'm single. <laughs> For real, though? No. Yeah. Uh, totally worth it. See me? The one I had before, it was like a little cross. Like yeah. A, you know, mediocre cross. And how many compliments have you gotten about now, it so far? See, I walk and they're like, oh, you got a nice shiny cross. Because that's just shiny as hell. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I like it. I got to go in next to get uh, a replacement for this. Is what are you looking okay? at? You side side eye. So to 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 wrap things up, yeah. How do you? What would you say to the man? Then tell them. Look at them. Oh shit! I winked. Uh, give them the. We'll give like one piece of advice. 
quick quick of how to know that a girl likes them quickly quickly uh if she initiates conversation a lot like she says and you and you and you want to know about you blah blah if nice. she touches you if she's like uh, touchy like oh my god ha 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 laughing at your jokes your stupid jokes also and just being like uh, you know super touchy with you hmm. um fast replies and also follows up after the first date and also sends you memes oh well that's a lot if yeah. she does that she fucking likes you yeah damn oh wow no sends you tiktok Oh my god. That's a big one. Sends you TikToks or like Instagram posts that is relevant to like about something that you guys did or spoke about on a date. Before. She loves you. Mm. She loves you, bro. <laughs> if she sends you TikToks related to conversation, you guys, she more than liked you, I promise you. Mm. So um don't fuck up. Text her back and initiate the second date, buddy. Yeah, actually guys, you too, don't be stupid. Yeah. Don't like if she replied and she did something. Don't do what I do and respond every two to six hours. Yeah. Two to six business days. Two to six business days. Mm. Gotta do what you gotta do. So hope you guys enjoy this video. It's been your boy Sergio's talks. It's been your boy Matt. It's been your boy Carl. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Don't forget to give us five stars on Amazon, Apple Podcasts, and Spotify. And don't forget to check us out on Patreon. Patreon. And uh, if you are looking for your very, very special engagement ring, don't forget to go ahead and check out Don J. Um, and we'll see you guys next week. Bingo. Bizu, bizu. Bye bye. It's on a gang. Best, best. What? Best, best. Best, best. What is that? Bizu, bizu. What's best, best? Bus, bus, bizu, bizu. In what language? In what language? Swedish. Ah, oh, you've been fucking a Swedish. <laughs> no, what the Damn. fuck? <laughs> That's <is> crazy. <laughs> what about just TikTok? Bus, bus. You've been fucking a Swedish TikToker. What? Wow. Or just just someone says it no. on TikTok. No, it's okay. Anyways. Send me a video then, man. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>